Hey, what's up guys? Alan with Sonic Electronics Q&A. And I already shot this video, but you don't get to see the original because I looked below and I saw there was another question related to the first video I did, so I decided to redo it. So here we go. So these are both from YouTube and they're both about amp bypasses. So like factory amp bypassing. So um, the first question is, and I'll read both questions and I'll talk about it, is uh, um, how do you bypass a stock amplifier when installing a new car stereo? And the second one is, can you bypass without an adapter? Um, there's a lot of people out there telling you that you need to buy an extra $100 adapter to bypass the amplifier. So, we're gonna talk about all of it at the same time. So it's easy to bypass um, in most cases. So it really depends on the vehicle. So most typical systems that have a simple amplifier really only will amplify your front speakers and rear speakers. Now some of the more premium factory amplifiers will amplify the front and rear speakers and a factory subwoofer. And some systems even go further and have a factory center channel. So it really depends on the system. Now take in mind if you decide to bypass the amplifier without using that $100 adapter or $150 adapter or $89 adapter, whatever the case may be because they do range, you will lose certain channels. So your aftermarket radio only has four channels of audio output. If you bypass your amplifier and your car has a factory woofer, guess what? You have no channel for the sub anymore because you've bypassed the amp. So you'd only be hearing audibly your front and rear speakers. Now for some people, they don't care. It doesn't matter because they're replacing and doing a whole new system. They're doing front and rear speakers. They're putting their own sub in and all that. But if you're just doing a head unit, you could be missing out on other channels that you're not gonna be able to power with your aftermarket head unit. So in a case like that, I would 100% for that $100, recommend going with that adapter that'll allow you to integrate into the factory amplifier to be able to use it. So that way you can have all, all your channels working, center channel, sub, uh, subwoofer, et cetera. Uh, a lot of the times you'll get door chimes and other stuff, OnStar, um, and other things that you need to have, uh, or you know, some people think they're annoying, but are nice to keep with that $100 that you will spend. On the flip side, if you've got a basic system, it is really easy to bypass and you don't have to spend that money. You can just uh, basically get yourself something like this. It's a piece of nine wire. You wire this right up to the radio. You got all your four pairs of speaker colors here and then you run this down to wherever your factory amplifier is. There's usually gonna be a few plugs on the amplifier. One's gonna be a plug on the output section and those speaker wires are what are running through the vehicle going to your speakers. And then you can tie this into that. So basically you're extending those wires wherever the amp is up to the radio. Of course, you're gonna to need to know what the factory OEM speaker color wires are so that way you could tie into it. Um, that's an easy way to bypass. Of course, you can you have the ability to run all new speaker wire from the head unit to all the speakers in the car, but it really just depends on what's quick, easy, and what you want to do, and maybe what your plans for the future are with your system. So, if you have the if they have the the adapter available, I would highly suggest it. If they don't, you have to bypass. If they don't have the integration adapter, also look. Some manufacturers will also sell an amp bypass harness which is different than an integration device. The integration device lets you allow, allows you to integrate the aftermarket radio to the stock amp. The bypass harness will bypass the amp. Sometimes there's no bypass harness, so you have to manually do it and run your own wires. So that pretty much covers everything. Hopefully you learned something from it. I did, geez. Alan with Sonic Electronics, thanks for watching.